Hello, I'm Johora Singaporeensis, a Singapore freshwater crab, but you can call me Joe. I'm so small, I doubt you've seen me, but I bet you've seen my big blue buddy, the ocean. In this video, I want to talk about the importance of coral reefs and what happens when we lose them. Coral reefs are the heart and soul of Big Blue Buddy, and corals are found all over the ocean, from shallow waters to deep seas. Often called rainforests of the sea, coral reefs are among the most diverse and valuable ecosystems on the planet. So are corals plants or animals? Almost all corals are made up of individual animals called polyps. Coral reefs are formed from colonies of polyps, and their structures are homes to algae which provides them with food. Although coral reefs cover less than 1% of the ocean, one in every four marine species is dependent on them for food, shelter, and survival. Coral reefs are important nursery grounds that feed fish, which many people depend on for food and income. They also keep coasts safe, providing a barrier for storms and soil erosion. They are also called medicine chests of the sea because they are a valuable source of new medicines to treat diseases and other health problems. Sadly, Despite their enormous importance, 20% of the world's coral reefs have died, wiped out mainly by ocean acidification and human activities like overfishing, pollution and mining. The remaining reefs are under threat from global warming, which can cause what's known as coral bleaching. Corals get their colours from algae living inside them. When sea temperatures are abnormally high, corals can become stressed, causing the algae to leave. The corals lose a key source of nutrients, become weak and turn white. And over a sustained period of time, the corals usually die. What's more, restoring them isn't easy because coral reefs don't grow overnight or just anywhere. Even though Buddy is really big, only a limited area is suitable for corals to grow. If we lose coral reefs, then everyone loses. Fish and other sea creatures will lose food and shelter. Without fish, many people will lose their main source of food and income. Coastal areas will lose protection against extreme weather and coastal erosion. People will lose their homes and businesses and be forced to relocate. We'll lose a valuable source of potential medicines and the world will lose one of its allies in the battle against climate change. Here in Singapore, an island home to more than 250 species of corals. These corals face similar bleaching threats. In a bid to protect them, the National Parks Board, or NParks, worked with community groups and began monitoring local coral reefs. They started a Plant a Coral Seed a Reef program, so organizations can help transplant nursery-grown coral fragments in the sea. Together with conservation groups, NParks also installed artificial reefs, like this one in Sisters Island's Marine Park, where corals can take root and grow, and other marine life can flourish. You can help too, by telling everyone you know how magical corals are and how much our health depends on them. By being careful when snorkeling or diving, not to touch coral reefs, no matter how pretty they are. Saving Big Blue Buddy's coral reefs will turn lose-lose into win-win.